Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Ratchet Ray. I know you haven't heard me in a long, long time, but today we're starting a new series that I'm going to continue long term. Yes, unlike my gaming that kind of slowed down and I forgot about, this one's going to go for a while. And then also I'm going to pick up the gaming again once those new consoles come out and a couple new games like Grand Theft Auto. But anyway, I'm going to start the series on my car. It's a 2013 STI Limited sedan. Um, just going to tell you what I got stock on it. I got the side uh, door ding moldings right here. Saved me a couple times. But, you know, I'm, I don't really question, or I kind of question the point of having them. Because I know they save your car door from dings, but then they get dings like this, and it pretty much just looks just as bad as a door ding. I guess it doesn't uh, dent the car, but it just chips the paint, so I guess that's a kind of a plus for having them. But then, with the Limited, I got the sunroof, which is very nice, and the heated seats. Um, another thing I got... That was uh, um, stock, kind of an aftermarket stock thing that you kind of, when you're building your car, you choose, but that's a short shift throw. Um, I like it a whole lot, a lot smoother and faster shifts, um, not as far of a ways to go, but yeah, and then um, here's the stock rims on them like them a lot, but I think I might get some new ones soon. Um, front STI red HID headlights, which are really nice. It's got all-wheel drive, which I can't wait to mess around with in the winter. Um, something I just did today was I debadged the Subaru uh, logo that goes right here in the all-wheel drive. Impreza. I think it cleans it up a whole lot. Doesn't make it look as busy back there. Kind of just a nice clean finished look. I can do a video on how I did that if you uh, guys want that. Um, but interior, it's black leather. It's not the fake leather. Nice, nice finish. Feels very soft. That kind of some uh, leather on the doors and stuff. Um, garage. Uh, door openers which is nice got the sunroof like I said I'll uh, go ahead and start it up really bright dash really great especially at night um, there's everything on there uh, got your gas oil temp rpm which is the big one which is kind of cool um, it's got the lights or the uh, miles per hour right there goes to 160 go ahead and start it up um, you can control your center diff right here so you uh, can change it from auto to manual so if I push that button right there it goes to uh, manual and at lock I'll have the most traction um, on like straightaways and stuff so it helps if you're stuck to get out um, then if I move this lever like that, it goes down to more of a 60-30, more power in the back, uh, less power in the front. And then when it's at lock, it's at maximum power. And then automatic, automatic it controls the power based on uh, the way your tires are slipping and moving. But you can still push up and go auto plus, so that will be, that'll make the tires more sensitive and this will make the tires less sensitive to uh, add more power. Uh, touch screen, satellite radio with uh, navigation, air conditioning. There's the back seats, very comfortable, lots of legroom. Uh, aftermarket thing I added was in here. We got LED lights, interior. I got four strips, one right here driver's side one and then I got the two rear kind of adds a nice uh, subtle look right now I have it on fading mode but anyway the colors are uh, green I know there's this mode that flashes through them fast and there's green red blue green again aqua purple uh, kind of a more of a teal um, 
um, then back to the fading. And another thing that I got in here is I put in some subs with this little knob right here under the steering. I can adjust if I want it, uh, how high I want the sub volume for the bass. So I can turn it to max or I can low. And one thing I integrated with the lights is if we can find something that's uh, like some good bass. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Start a brick. So. And I got them so they pulse to the uh, bass. Let's see if we can find something good here. Go ahead and pop the trunk. Take a look. I got two 10 inch subs back here. Provides great uh, base without overpowering it because I needed my trunk room for gym stuff and cleaning stuff like that. And so they just kind of made this nice little shelf that goes right up there. So you can go ahead and take a uh, listen. So that lights and bass is kind of a nice touch together. We'll go ahead and pop the pop the hood. Take a look under there. I'm gonna start tapping in some modifications here pretty soon in this series. It's kind of a cool under hood, a nice clean kind of racier. Um, right now, I just have the stock exhaust. I can give you some. Uh, Rev, so you can go ahead and hear that. That's that. I can give you the interior noise also. Uh, it's kind of a quiet exhaust on stock. Um, if you're looking for a louder one, I'd suggest when you order it to tell the dealer that you'd like the SPT Subaru uh, performance exhaust. And that'll add like, I think it's a thousand dollars, but it will provide a lot more sound. Not really a huge horsepower gain but it'll give you that cleaner sound that a lot of people like. But the dash. And there, that's that anyways. So go ahead and uh, turn it off. It's got a nice key, you got a key chip in it uh, so your car can't be stolen. It's got the standard unlock, lock, open the trunk, and panic button. Um, back seat. I'd say it's a good leg room. Yeah, for uh, depending on how much, usually my passengers they recline those back a little, and it's a little uncomfortable back here for some people. But I mean, if you keep it at a reasonable thing where the uh, passenger's still comf uh, comfortable, then the back person can be also like right here. I'm about five eleven, six foot. And I have like an inch still for my knees in room, inch and a half maybe, and that's comfortable driving for a five, uh, five eleven six foot guy also. So, yeah, check back. I'll do a couple cosmetic mods I'm planning on. Uh, right now I have twenty percent tint. I think it's awesome. Legal limit here is thirty, so I got ten percent darker. I mean. I didn't want to get the tint. I wanted to get the tint, but I didn't want to get like 30 and end up being like, oh, this is a waste. Why'd I get this? It's, uh, you can still see in and everything. And that was one of the things I was trying to, uh, get rid of is people looking into my car. Um, I got this strip on the top, which also is really nice on the car. But a couple suggestions I'd have is get, don't get a really dark, like 15 and 10 and 5 on the windows here. 
uh, because cops, they'll generally give you uh, kind of a little cushion, like 10%. Like, I went 10% darker than the legal limit, and I haven't had any problems. But if you really are stuck on and you got to go darker than that, then leave these two front windows the 10% less than the legal limit or legal limit, and then go darker here because they won't usually care about the back windows. And then the back, you can just do whatever you want back here. I almost went darker because cops can't test the back window, so there's no way they can prove that your tint's too dark for legal limit. So that's just a couple ideas. So, yeah, stick in. Uh, watch the series because I'll have Cobb access port, uh, AEM intake, Cobb downpipe, SPT exhaust. Those are all my plans. So stick around if you want to see those. Uh, probably going to get new rims. Can't decide if I want gold or white. Leave in the comment section what do you think. And then also if you're on Spokane, Washington, uh, looking for and you're a driver of an STI, WRX, or even Mitsubishi Evos, even though they're technically our rivals, but I mean, turbo buddies, let me know, uh, hit me up, we'll uh, go riding or racing, whatever you want to do, alright, bye.